Hello. We were looking at uh, the chapter on nitrogen compounds. First, we looked at uh, the nitro compounds, uh, where the NO2 group is attached to a benzene ring. Sometimes the benzene ring may be attached with more than one NO2 group. And uh, we have looked at the preparation of these uh, nitro compounds. And then we spend some time on the reduction of nitro compounds under various conditions. What will happen with metal and uh, HCl, metal and uh, ammonium hydroxide and uh, various conditions by which the nitro compound is uh, reduced to the amino compound and uh, other compound, azo compound, hydraso compound etcetera. Today, uh, after that we looked at amines this R N H 2, A R N H 2. The N H 2 group is the functional group in these molecules and uh, the N H 2 groups are basic because it has a lone pair of electrons and this lone pair of electrons can be attached to the protons H plus and uh, the basicity of the amine is determined by the equilibrium where the amine plus H plus goes to the uh, amine uh, protonated amine. And we looked at the various preparations of amines and also the reactions of amines. Now, we are going to look at a few special topics on amines which I have put in appendices. This is attachment to the main uh, thing. They are not exactly in this syllabus, but it will help you to understand the chemistry of amines so that you can uh, those who are interested can pursue more uh, advanced topics in uh, chemistry of amines. Now, this is the amines appendix 1. Nitrogen uses four sp3 hybrid orbitals which are directed to the corners of a regular tetrahedron like a carbon atom. So, this is how nit the ammonia molecule is there. This nitrogen is sp3 hybridized. The sp3 hybrid orbital is attached to this hydrogen. The second sp3 is attached to this hydrogen. Third is this hydrogen. One of the sp3 hybrid orbitals contains the lone pair of electrons. And hence, this molecule, see one side is uh, the lone pair, all the three hydrogens are coming above the plane. This is a pyramidal compound. And uh, this undergoes very fast exchange between the two pyramidal structures. One in which I have written the two structures, here the hydrogen is coming forward and uh, this hydrogen is above and this hydrogen is below this is in the plane of the ring and the lone pair is on the opposite side. This is very similar to uh, carbon compounds where you have say in methane four hydrogens are attached except in this case one of the hydrogens are removed and the lone pair of electrons is in the same place. So, in uh, methane the carbon atom is tetrahedral. Here since one of the sp3 hybrid orbitals is arranged attached to the lone pair, this is uh, the pyramidal structure that means this uh, the, the tetrahedral structure is removed with this particular bond. So, these three bonds form a pyramid. The one of the uh, locus of the pyramid is the lone pair of electrons. If you look at these two uh, structures, one is a mirror image of the other. Normally, in carbon compounds, if you have a molecule which is a mirror image of the 
other molecule and if they are not superimposable if the mirror image is not superimposable if you take this here these these two can be superimposed but these two cannot be superimposed and uh, that particular carbon is optically active the compound will rotate the plane of polarized light but in this uh, ammonia molecule the two pyramids change rapidly one pyramid becomes the other in very rapid thing so that it is not holding this configuration where one atom is in the pyramidal place this pyramid will become the other pyramid and therefore this molecule is undergoing this uh, uh, change very rapidly and it cannot be isolated as optically active isomers if you have even nitrogen with three different alkyl groups you expect it to be chiral and a and b should be optically active the previous uh, two ammonia substituted with three alkyl groups but such enantiomers have not been isolated even with the three alkyl groups the energy barrier for conversion of one pyramid to another is small so the conversion of the two pyramids is very fast and therefore it uh, does not hold the configuration and it does not give optical activity or it is not superimposable because they keep changing so fast but if you have an ammonium salt where the nitrogen is attached to four different alkyl groups methyl ethyl propyl and benzyl group this particular molecule if you see that they are not superimposable and the energy barrier for conversion is very large therefore they do not interconvert from one pyramid to another pyramid the rate of interconversion is very slow non superimposable therefore it is optically active such in such molecule the optical isomer has been isolated and uh, they have been shown to have rotation that is they rotate the uh, plane of uh, plane polarized light to the right or left depending upon which molecule is isolated in the two mirror images then we look at the appendix 2 which is hoffman elimination if you have dehydrohalogenation of an alkyl halide with alcoholic koh usually the molecule splits up hx and uh, this uh, splitting of hx the removal of hx can take place from this hydrogen and this x or this hydrogen and this x if the reaction is done by alcoholic potassium hydroxide you get ch3 ch double bond ch ch3 that is 2 butene this is formed to the extent of 80% that means alcoholic uh, potash abstract this particular hydrogen so let's say if there are so this is the process by which hydroxide picks up uh, hydrogen here as proton this will form a molecule of water and uh, this bond moves to between the two carbons then this gets uh, out as x minus so this is ch3 ch double bond ch ch3 this is 2 butene formed at 80% this is a more stable olefin or alkene now some of the product is formed by removal of this hydrogen and uh, just like this the bond moves here and then the x minus leaves and uh, you have one butene this when this uh, hydrogen and x 
moves this is the CH double bond CH2. This is 1 butene formed to the extent of 20 percent. The outcome, the outcome of this reaction in which more substituted alkene which is also more stable predominates is called the sides of orientation. When you have an alkyl halide treated with alcoholic KOH you get what is called dehydrohalogenation reaction. This dehydrohalogenation takes place preferentially to get the more stable alkene. The more stable alkene is the more substituted alkene. If you have two substituents to this carbon, two substituents to this carbon, so this is more substituted carbon. The other alkene is formed at 20 percent yield. You now see this carbon has an alkyl group. This carbon has two CH2 group. So, the number of alkyl groups on the carbon is 1. Here it is 2. Here 1 and this 1. So, when it is less substituted the alkene is less stable and this is formed only to the extent of 20 percent and this type of dehydrohalogenation where the more substituted alkene is formed in greater amount very large greater amount is 80 percent versus the less substituted alkene this is formed to the extent of 20 percent. This is called sites of orientation. This is scientists who first discovered this dichotomy where one olefin is formed in greater extent than the other olefin and that olefin is more substituted olefin the one that forms in greater amount. So, this particular orientation of the double bond here the orientation is between 2 and 3 here it is between 1 and 2 this orientation is called sites of orientation. When the following tetraalkyl ammonium hydroxide is heated an alkene is formed this is the tetraalkyl ammonium hydroxide you have 4 C2H5 group attached to this nitrogen and 1 propyl group attached to this nitrogen. When 4 groups are attached to the nitrogen it forms an ammonium salt a positive nitrogen and uh, this when you heat it uh, the counter ion here is uh, hydroxide you have already formed O minus this counter ion is uh, OH minus this is N plus in this uh, if you heat it this hydroxide abstracts the proton here the bond moves between the two carbons and removes this uh, nitrogen compound as triethyl amine. So, you get triethyl amine and uh, water and also alkene. So, this alkene is more substituted and you form this alkene actually here there is no difference whether you uh, move this particular uh, thing or the other compound it, you get the same two alkene. Now, let us see the orientation in Hoffman elimination when two different alkenes can be formed. Here only one alkene can be formed this uh, abstraction of this if you uh, abstract here there is no leaving group. So, other alkene cannot be formed here. So, only this hydrogen can be removed by hydroxide if when this uh, hydrogen is removed then that cannot move and remove the triethylamine. Now, when the orientation of the half one elimination when two different alkenes are formed. Now, you have the same type of N R 3 plus the trialkylamine there is a fourth alkyl group this is two butyl group. So, three alkyl groups plus one more alkyl group four alkyl groups then the nitrogen becomes plus then o OH minus is the counter ion and if you have the if you heat it 
this hydrogen can be removed from here to form an anion and that can move and remove this can come down to here and then move the trialkyl uh, amine. So, this is the intermediate you have a carbon ion formed which moves to form a double bond and then the trialkyl amine is formed and the molecule of water is formed because this OH minus abstracts this hydrogen to form the anion. <coughs> now, this particular anion is more stable we will compare it with here. Now, you do the elimination making this carbon anionic you here OH minus abstract this hydrogen from this carbon here it abstract hydrogen from this carbon. So, this is the anion So, this anion is formed by abstraction of this hydrogen and it again moves in to form a carbon carbon bond gets the triethylamine tri trialkylamine out and you get the more stable 2 butene. And uh, here the product is uh, 1, uh, 1 butene which is less stable and actually the in Hoffman elimination this product is formed this is formed in greater amount this is formed in lesser amount this comes from the fact that intermediate to this is this carbon ion which is substituted with only one carbon carbon is electro positive pushes the electron into this bond this uh, CH mi CH 2 minus is somewhat unstable, but of the 2 here you have 2 alkyl groups which push the electrons this carbon ion is less stable and the resulting 2 butene is more stable, but the in this case the reaction is determined by the stability of anion this anion here determines that the product formed here is more though the product is less stable. Here the product formed is less stable uh, the is more stable less stable intermediate. formed in greater amount this is formed in lesser amount this is because this anion is um, more stable. So, most of the product results from this anion this anion is less stable less of the alkene is formed from this carbanion. Now, you have unit uh, 4b appendix 2 continuation this half an elimination takes place via a more carbon ionic intermediate which is more stable as it is formed by the abstraction of hydrogen from a primary carbon. The abstraction of hydrogen from a secondary carbon is sterically hindered and also results in a less stable carbon ion stereochemistry may be anti or sin depending upon the steric factors. The stereochemistry if you have this compound there is no stereochemistry associated with this because this is CH2 whereas here you have two possible
this is cis and you can have trans the two methyl group opposite each other is trans and that stereochemistry is depending upon the structures and the steric hindrance as well as stability of the carbon ions. Now, there is a similar reaction which is called a cope elimination. It uh, starts from uh, this nitroso compound N plus uh, nitrogen um, the amine is treated with the NO. The, this forms the N nitroso compound this N plus R 2 when this have this can abstract this hydrogen in a cyclic fashion this hydrogen is abstracted this bond goes towards the car two carbons and uh, this bond from it goes to neutralize the NR 2 plus you will get NR 2 plus dihydroxylamine dialkyl hydroxylamine. Dialkyl hydroxylamine. So, <coughs> and the olefin is formed by between the two carbon atoms. This is a syn elimination because the two uh, hydrogen and NR2 plus is on the same side. These, uh, therefore, this elimination is syn. If you have groups here which are different you can detect whether the product that is applied is syn or trans. Now, you can see on heating suitably substituted amine oxide an alkene and dialkyl hydroxylamine are formed. The intermediate is cyclic as is shown you have a cyclic intermediate and the reaction gives products only by syn elimination that means these two hydrogens and this n or 2 plus are from the same side of the molecule. So, if I write the uh, reactant like this where the CH group and this n or 2 plus group are on the same side and the two methyl groups are on the same side two hydrogens are on the same side if it goes by a cyclic intermediate the product formed will be cis 2 butene. But if you prepare an isomer where the CH 3 and CH 3 group is opposite side and you have all these groups attached when the reaction takes place it uh, goes via the cyclic intermediate In the cyclic intermediate one that can you the trans 2 butene varo. the trans 2 butene on the the opposite type of uh, stereochemistry in the transbutene on the in the madri in the substituent CH3 CH3 on the same side in the CH3 CH3 matta opposite side la irundaka in the madri trans 2 butene varu rendli dialkyl uh, hydroxylamine will be formed the in the appendix la uh, diazonium salt uh, other reaction la but the idea the diazonium salt forms a variety of groups variety of compounds uh, substituents add panla uh, the first uh, the Sandmeyer reaction it is uh, named after this uh, discoverer of this reaction given the AR n plus triple bond n x minus this is the aromatic diazonium chloride in the diazonium chloride cuprous chloride order react panaka you get arcl chlorobenzene or chloro uh, toluene etc so if in the um, diazonium salt if you uh, react with cuprous bromide adu uh, vande ar br kodukum the ar can be phenyl substituted phenyl idhe vande potassium iodide order react panaka ari benzene attached to iodine atom. 
இந்த ஃப்ளூரின் ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணுனாக்கா அது வந்து வேறு இன்டர்மீடியட்டோடு போகணும் இதை வந்து ஃபஸ்ட் யூ ரியாக்ட் வித் ஹெச்பிஎஃப் ஃபோர் டெட்ரோஃப்ளோரோ போரிக் ஆசிட் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் டெட்ரோஃப்ளோரோ போரேட் ஏஆர் என் டூ ப்ளஸ் பிஎஃப் மைனஸ் இட்ஸ் கால் ஃப்ளூவோ போரேட் அண்ட் திஸ் வென் ஹீட்டட் ப்ரொடியூஸ் ஏஆர்எஃப் இது வந்து இந்த நைட்ரஜன் இவால்வ் ஆகிடும் பிஎஃப் ஃபோர் ஒரு ஃப்ளோரின் மாத்திரம் இந்த அரோமேட்டிக் ரிங்கில் அட்டாச் ஆகும் யூ கெட் ஏஆர்எஃப் இன் ஆல் தீஸ் ரியாக்ஷன்ஸ் வந்து நைட்ரஜன் கேஸ் வில் பி ஃபார்ம்ட் இட் கோஸ் அவுட் தட் ஃபோர் த ரியாக்ஷன் வில் பி ஷிஃப்டட் இந்த முக்கு முழுக்க இந்த இந்த ஏஆர்சிஎல் இந்த பக்கம் வந்துடும் தெர் இஸ் வெரி லிட்டில் லெஃப்ட் ஆஃப் தி டயசோனியம் குளோரைட் நவ் இந்த ரியாக்ஷனில் அரோமேட்டிக் டயசோனியம் குளோரைட் ரியாக்ட் வித் கிப்ரஸ் சயனைட் இதே மாதிரி கிப்ரஸ் யூ ஹாவ் ஹாலஜன்ஸ் அட்டாச் நவ் சயனைட் குரூப் ஆல்சோ கெட்ஸ் அட்டாச் ஏஆர்சிஎன் ப்ளஸ் என் டூ கேஸ் த டயசோனியம் குளோரைட் வித் வாட்டர் அண்ட் ஹீட் யூ கெட் ஃபீனால் ஏஆர்ஓஹெச் இது முன்னாடியே ஃபீனால் ப்ரிப்ரேஷனில் பார்த்துருக்கோம் ஏஆர் என் ப்ளஸ் ட்ரிபிள் பாண்ட் என்எக்ஸ் மைனஸ் வித் ஹெச் த்ரீ பிஓ டூ இட்ஸ் எ ரெடியூசிங் ஆசிட் டிரைவட் ஃப்ரம் பாஸ்பரஸ் ஹெச் த்ரீ பிஓ டூ ப்ளஸ் ஹெச் டூஓ இதை ரியாக்ட் பண்ணாக்க இந்த பாண்ட் இஸ் ரெடியூஸ்ட் வித் ஹைட்ரஜன் அண்ட் யூ கெட் ஏஆர்ஹெச் அண்ட் ஆல் ஹியர் ஆல்சோ யூ கெட் என் டூ அஸ் தி பை ப்ராடக்ட் இப்போ அப்பெண்டிக்ஸ் ஃபோரில் அனாலிசிஸ் ஆஃப் அமீன்ஸ் எஸ்பெஷலி திஸ் டெஸ்ட் இஸ் கால்டு ஹின்ஸ்பர்க் டெஸ்ட் த டெஸ்ட் இஸ் யூஸ் டு ஐடென்டிஃபை வெதர் எ கிவன் அமீன் இஸ் எ ப்ரைமரி அமீன் ஆர் செகண்டரி அமீன் ஆர் டெஸ்ட்ரி அமீன் இது எப்படி பண்ணுறதுனாக்கா இந்த அமீன்ஸை வந்து பென்ஸ் பென்சீன் சல்ஃபனில் குளோரைடோடு ட்ரீட் பண்ணுறது இந்த ப்ரெசன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஏக்குவஸ் பொட்டாசியம் ஹைட்ராக்சைட் பொட்டாசியம் ஹைட்ராக்சைட் வாட்டரில் டிசால்வ் பண்ணி சொல்யூஷன் பண்ணிட்டு இந்த அமீனை வந்து பென்சின் பென்சின் சல்ஃபனில் குளோரைடு போட்டு இந்த ஏக்குவஸ் பொட்டாசியம் ஹைட்ராக்சைடை அதில் ஆட் பண்ணுறது இதில் வந்து ப்ரைமரி அண்ட் செகண்டரி அமீன்ஸ் ஃபார்ம் சப்ஸ்டிடியூட்டட் சல்ஃபனமைட்ஸ் நீங்கள் இங்கே பார்த்தீங்கன்னாக்க ஆர்என்ஹெச் டூ ப்ளஸ் சி சிக்ஸ் ஹெச்ஒய் எஸ்ஓ டூ சிஎல் வில் ஃபார்ம் ஆர்என்ஹெச் எஸ்ஓ டூ சி சிக்ஸ் ஹெச்ஒய் இதில் வந்து ஒன் ஹைட்ரஜன் ஹியர் ஹேஸ் பீன் ரீப்ளேஸ் பை சி சிக்ஸ் ஹெச்ஒய் எஸ்ஓ டூ குரூப் 